Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and from two Teslas. And this is episode 45. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help to support this channel. If you would like to join our team, there is the link down below. Today is the finally the day when I'm going to work on the chassis. I have been waiting for this moment forever. First thing what we have to do is to change the gear on the axle. If you look at that, there are two gears over here. One gear belongs to the right wheel and this gear over here belongs to left wheel. I don't know if you can see that if I when I spin this one you can see the left wheel spinning also. And the differential which is located in the tube engages and works with these two gears. We have a open differential for the front axle and we, are, we need to change it. It appears that only the difference between open differential and rear differential is that these gears, this gear over here is slightly different. So we are going to remove this gear over here and remove this gear from the rear axle where there is a lockable differential and try to replace it. I think those gears are interchangeable. Let's go to work. So we should be able to slide the another one over here that it should fit, hopefully. Let's get the one from the rear axle which is located outside. Okay, we have two of them here. So one of them is going to give me that gear. Let's get the left one. It appears they are the same, but maybe this gear is a little bit like, there is some groove, I cannot get it out. Probably some groove or maybe some mess probably it's out so we will see if it matches now okay guys so this is from this axle and this gears is from the rear axle we'll see if it will fit there yes <laughs> it will fit there and we can lock it there Awesome! Can you imagine that I would have to rebuild everything inside the, uh, inside this turtle here? So the rear one from uh, lockable differential fits on the on the spline, but it's a little bit a uh, little bit taller. This one is how many millimeters? It's 70, 71 millimeters, and. Uh, original front one with open differential is 67 millimeters so four millimeters taller which is it's manageable we will uh, we will work with that by the length of the tube awesome the next step is removing both differentials the rear one over here which is lockable and the front one which is open. We need to figure out uh, uh, what the size difference is so it uh, depends then how long this part of the tube will be. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, now while I have those tubes on the platforms, you can see how different those differentials are placed in the tubes. This one is probably somewhere around seven, seven centimeters from the edge of the flange. And this one, the front one, which is open, so it's about maybe three centimeters, something like that. So you can see we have to deal with a lot of variables to actually fit it perfectly the way it would work. Wish me luck. Let's go to remove those differentials. This is the oil plug. Nothing to do with the differential. So the front one is out, it went out relatively good. I had no idea how it will go. When you look at it, I try to do not damage it from here. It looks like I was hitting against this place, hopefully, hopefully over here. It doesn't look uh, that I damage it anyway. So that's how it looks. There is nowhere on internet you can actually see this, how it actually looks, except some, uh, some pictures. And let's do this one. The problem is, I don't know how I'm going to get it out, because obviously here is this division over here. And it's welded, so I have nothing really against to, uh, to hit, hit it against. So. I might try this shaft over here and end of the spline actually should stop it and then I should hit it. I will probably flip it on, on this side like that so the weight of the differential will help me. We'll see. So both of them are out now and we can do the next step. But before that, I will tell you something about those differentials. They sit on the tube over here, precisely are pressed into the tube over here. And this is the point where those bolts I took from here, the, the, those bolts actually go because we have the disengagement and engagement mechanism over here which locks and unlocks the differential. This front one it has the whole groove all around because there is nothing to control so 
pretty much instead this one hole is a whole groove and uh, you place it into the proper in, into the proper position and you put these bolts over here like that you see that this one is a little bit bigger this one is a little bit smaller so we have to figure out uh, how uh, there will be a lot of factors I have to do the, the mass precisely so all of that will fit into this uh, this this longer tube and we make, make, need to make sure that it perfectly fits on this shaft over here on this spline. So the next step is to cut the tubes but before that we need to place the front steering axle over here on uh, one of these platforms because the rest of these components of uh, components of these tubes need to be perfectly aligned together otherwise it will not work. This is so heavy that I am pretty much bending the stacker, so I had to put some wood under the wheels, on the caster wheels, uh, on both sides, so the weight of this, the wheels and the half axles is deducted from the total weight of that, so the stacker can actually handle it. Maybe there somehow, obviously we have to move it a little bit, but I guess, I guess it's yes. You guys, it's perfectly straight. It looks like perfectly straight on that, uh, on the dolly. I will see if, if, if it will even move. Okay guys, I was able to manage to get rid of the differentials from the tubes over here. Place this uh, axle and the tube on that uh, chassis workbench. Actually, I will show you how that uh, locking differential works in practice. Here is the control uh, lever. It goes up and down and you, if you look inside, there is the ring that moves up and down obviously in uh, originally that movement is horizontal and here is that gear that i cannibalize from another another axle and that's that's part of the uh, the axle and it's in this position over here obviously so that engages and disengages the locking mechanism over there and it will be it for today guys if you like this video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you would like to support this channel and become patron there is the link down below and uh, see you next time and thanks for watching